Hey folks, Pastor Jordan here, um, bringing you this week's sermon preview uh, for this upcoming Sunday, July the 4th. Um, we'll be gathering here for worship around the gazebo. Uh, check the weather forecast. It looks like it's going to be the nicest day of the weekend. Um, today's going to be kind of rainy. Uh, Saturday looks like it's going to be uh, kind of rainy and, and um, cloudy. And then Sunday um, looks like it's going to be the best day of the weekend. So we'll be planning to worship uh, outside on Sunday morning right here around the gazebo at 10 o'clock. And uh, just a reminder, the uh, restrictions are lifted uh, fully for outdoor worship. So come and, uh, and enjoy. Come and be present with us uh, here. Uh, come and enjoy a worshiping community here around the gazebo. We've decided we, we want to have worship outside as much as we can just because it's nice and we have this beautiful uh, setting here to do so. Um, so, uh, so it's one of those sort of silver linings of the whole, um, the whole COVID thing that it kind of uh, forced us into figuring out how to use this space well for worship. So um, come and be with us Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We invite you to be here uh, for worship. And um, I also just wanted to share with you a little bit uh, what we'll be talking about. We're finishing up our sermon series on uh, the book of Jeremiah. And we're going to look at two different passages from the book of Jeremiah. Those passages are, uh, are both going to talk about uh, restoration. Uh, sort of, we've been kind of looking at how things have been so difficult for the people uh, during this time that the book of Jeremiah was written. Um, the, the nation of Israel had, had been um, sort of war-torn, caught in between all these other things that are going on. Uh, we talked about uh, the exile of, of people that had, had been taken away um, from Jerusalem into, um, into captivity in the Babylonian Empire and and sort of all of the difficulties that go with it, kings that, that lead people astray, and just you know, sort of all the disasters of that whole uh, period of, of life for the people of the nation of Israel. And so then today, or this coming Sunday when we gather for worship, we'll, we'll hear these passages that remind us about uh, a promise from God for restoration. Um, and so we'll look at it through the lens of the people of, uh, of Israel to whom these prophecies were originally written. You know, what, is it, what does it mean for them uh, out of what they've come through that to be promised then uh, a season of restoration, a renewal of, of God's promise, a restoration of, of good leadership, restoration of good uh, worship practices, restoration of those kinds of things, but then also they're given a, a final promise that we'll, we'll hear in our last bit of scripture on, on Sunday, which is a new covenant where God proclaims what this new covenant will look like. And we're going to take a look at that and we're going to see as we, as we look at this new covenant that there's little bits in there uh, that really start to look like the kingdom of heaven that Jesus Christ proclaimed, that Jesus Christ came to, to tell us about, to, to say to us, the kingdom of heaven has drawn near. That's what we'll see in this, this promise of a new covenant. And so then that will shift our focus a little bit from, from looking at it through the lens of the people to whom these scriptures were originally written to now focusing on what does it look like for us? And maybe you can even guess my question, uh, you know, because it's a pretty obvious one for this week. Where, where do you need restoration? You know, in, in your life or, or in communities, groups that you're a part of, um, maybe family groups, um, maybe social groups, uh, maybe uh, vocational groups, uh, community groups, whatever, whatever those, those organizations, maybe our own church here at, at West Glenville or, or a larger uh, body of worshiping Christians, where, it is, where is restoration needed? Where is a, is a new covenant needed? Where is a, a, a new promise needed? Where do we need that, that gift of, well, hope? Where do we need that in our lives? Because we'll see in this scripture, as we do time and time again throughout all of the Bible, that the Lord is never short on restoration, on renewal, on rejuvenating uh, us and, and our lives, about giving us a sense of, of peace and hope. Uh, when we need those things, the Lord is there to provide them. And so we'll see it play out in the lives of the people of the nation of Israel as Jeremiah uh, writes his, uh, 
his scriptures to them. We'll see it also in our own lives as, as we're experiencing a season of, of a kind of restoration, of coming through onto the, to the other side of a difficult season of life for all of us. And what does that mean for us and for our community and for our daily living? Um, those are the things that we'll look at this Sunday when we gather for worship. I look forward to seeing you here. Bring a chair. Um, check the weather. Dress appropriately. Um, it may not be quite so warm on uh, Sunday as it has been, which is uh, a blessing. Um, so you, you may want to just check and make sure you've got the right number of layers, all that good stuff. But please come be with us for worship and uh, we look forward to gathering in Christ's name here uh, around the gazebo at West Glenville Reformed Church to worship our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Until we meet again, may the Lord be with you today. God bless you.